Hi right, guys, this is uh, my name is Emmanuel Fernandez, and this is the beginning of my YouTube ministry. I'm gonna be talking about some some unique things because uh, I basically was uh, viewing a lot of documentaries out there, a lot of ministry YouTube ministries, and I'm I'm gonna be trying to make a point that I want to put th things that you haven't heard before. Uh, I'm gonna fill in the gaps. Things that that you haven't heard for, like uh, true science, true history, your health, your body, what it is, the anatomy. Of it. I'm gonna be talking about my testimony, my Christian walk from beginning to to now. I'm gonna be talking about uh, the Bible itself. Is it is it a, a history book, a science book, a prophecy book? The answer is it's all above, all the above. The Bible is going to be my primary focus, but uh, this ministry is going to be for unbelievers as well as believers. But don't make make no mistake, primarily it's just for my brethren, my family, because brother in Christ is more important than your flesh and blood brother. Sister in Christ is more important than your flesh and blood sister, flesh and blood mother and father. Don't get me wrong. This is primarily for my brethren. This is for edification. Edification is to build on what you already have to expand, to grow. This is all about spiritual maturity. Talk about edification. But uh, I'm going to be uh, evangelizing the unbelievers as well because that's what Christ did. Christ came on earth for the unbelievers. He had a apostles, people that believe, but he didn't stop there. He kept going, so that's what I'm going to do. The whole purpose of a Christian is to do what he does, think how he does, to have a Christ attitude. Simple as that. A lot of people say, what's this means to be a Christian? What's that means to be a Christian? You're, you're, you're Christ-like. You need to act like him, act like he acts, think like you think, so forth. So this ministry is going to be four main things. All these videos are going to surround four things. First is the Bible. This is in order. The Bible as a true history book, a true science book, and a prophecy book. Now, certain videos I'm going to prove the Bible without scripture because you can't uh, prove the Bible as a history book from citing it. You have to prove the Bible without citing scripture. It's like uh, that's called circular reasoning. Uh, with people with evolution, they say, How do you prove evolution through the, through the fossils? How you prove the fossils through evolution. See how stupid that sounds? Evolution is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. But I'm going to go ahead and expose that scientifically, break that apart. That's one of my main things. Uh, first is the Bible. Second is true history. And that's, that's going to be secular. Secular all means it's not, not going to be talking about the Bible in one bit. I'm going to be citing true history, historical facts. I don't want you to say, uh, I don't believe them. I expect you not to believe you. I expect you to look it up for yourself. Critical thinking is looking things up for yourself. So I'm going to be talking about the Bible, true history, true science, scientific facts with, which points to a creator. Like I said, this is going to be for the unbelievers, people that don't believe Christ or even God. I'm going to cite scientific things that are scientifically verified that you can look up. I'm going to also be looking up uh, uh, true history, true science, and lastly, your body. Your very body. If you know how your body really works, well, most of us don't. We don't have no idea how. It's funny, the atheists say there's no God, but they don't have no idea what their body is, how it, do, how it works, what it's made out of, how it's comprised. I can do five videos on just on your body alone. And if you're really true to yourself, you don't lie to yourself, you're truthful to yourself, you look it up, you'll know God exists just on your body alone. On your body alone. Sad, but true. But uh, my main focus is four, four things. The Bible, my ministry, my Christian walk. Second is going to be true science. True history and your body, your anatomy. What makes it tick, how it works, the brain, everything. I'm going to go as long as the Holy Ghost allows me to because it's the Holy Ghost that is your guide, that is your comfortable. You yield to Him and He, and he puts it on your heart doesn't force you. This is not demon possession. This is not channel. I want to do this. I don't know what to talk about. So 
that's what this uh, this ministry is all going to be about. It's going to be for primarily for believers, but really anybody can benefit from this because this is um, hidden information that's done on purpose. Because as you know, a cult has has nothing to do with Satanism. Uh, you go and look up the the uh, definition. It's it's I think it's Latin from the word Oculus I. It means hidden. This ministry is hidden information. It's the esoteric information, not exoteric. Exoteric is what everybody knows out of the sun. It's what you've been indoctrinated with since birth. Indoctrination is basically uh, mind control. Subtle, though. For us, it starts to subtle. It's not, it's not that in your face, but once you're mind control, then it becomes in your face. I don't be talking about mind control either. I don't be talking about things you heard before, but trust me, I don't be talking about things you haven't heard before. How do I know that? Because I've been employed off and on for quite a while and I saw just about every documentary on the sun. Why? Because I put some on YouTube already. I have two documentaries on. One's called Self Enslavement. One's called Life's an Illusion. They're six hours long of everything I learned. And I guarantee when I say this, not everyone is talking about this. Not, it's probably few and no one will be bragging. But it's not not everybody's talking about this. So when I say you're gonna hear some unique things in this ministry, I guarantee you're gonna be hearing some unique things. Like whoa, I never heard of that before. No one ever taught me that before. But I was gonna tell you about things you have heard of before about about Jesus Christ, the real Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna be talking about uh, those those things on mission. I'm gonna talk about where I started in my walk, what led me to do this. Uh, what led to me was very simple. Let, let's take God out of the uh, Jesus Christ out of the equation. Let's talk about God, God the Father. Every whether you are saved or not saved, everything you know is because of God. You're a mechanic. You know how to build cars. Well, God let you know that He imparted that wisdom. We all have gifts. I'm talking to everybody, believers and non-believers. This is my gift because I've been told that hey, you know a lot of these things. You just need to stop preaching. That's God right there talking to someone there. On right there, there's no coincidence, and there's no nothing by happenstance and nothing by accident. That's biblical. Really, that's scientific. I'm gonna be basing my ministry in one word, one two words is biblical science. I want to prove that they're two sides of the same coin. I'm not talking about pseudoscience. Don't confuse biblical science with pseudoscience, which is evolutionism. I'm talking true science. Bible's three things. It's true history. Things in the Bible really did happen. These are not mythical figures. True history. Talks about the Hittites in the Bible. Hittites are real people. Okay, look that up. Unsaved, unbelieving people don't believe God. No, Hittites are real people. The Bible talks about that. Talks about Egypt. It was a history book. Why you think it was in the public school and they took had to take that out of them and replace it with uh, Charles Darwin, Origin of Species? It's a history book, period. It's a science book. It talks about how life, uh, life for the flesh is in the blood. Well, people didn't read their Bible. They thought it had to be blood let out. They thought that had to drain blood out of you to uh, make you well. Did that with George Washington kill him? Should have read your Bible. It's a science book. It's definitely a prophecy book. Everything that I was talking about is happening right now. Uh, Israel is going to be attacked. They're already talking about Iran with a nuclear strike against Israel. That's in the Bible, prophesied 2,000 years ago, long, for, even before Christ. Uh, the signs of the tribulation come. Same sex marriage approved throughout the country. That's biblical. Enforced worship. They're talking about uh, we need everybody to go out and church and enforce a day of Sunday worship. That's all biblical. So I just gave you some examples right there. All verifiable. I, don't listen to me. I could be lying to you. Don't listen to me. Look it up. All everything I just said. Why? Why one true history, true science, and prophecy is verifiable, hundred uh, percent. You you need to for for you to listen to anyone. You need to have. I mean, uh, this is for believers and non-believers. You need to not to be meek for meek for is be teachable. The meek shall inherit the earth. I thought meek was weak. I thought it was uh, not strong. That's just another example of my indoctrination. Don't know how to read the Bible. Don't know what words mean. 
I'm gonna make a video also about semantics, which is the meaning of words. Very important. Matter of fact, that's gonna be the next video. Next video is gonna be semantics, hate speech, and political correctness. Political correctness, because I'm talking to you in English and words, so I think it's important for me to make a video just about the English language, how it's being attacked by the devil with all these selfies, these words selfies, LOL, how you're being dumbed down through text. And right, that right there, I haven't heard not not many people talk about that on YouTube. If so, you know, let me know in the comment section. But that right there, haven't heard. Like I said, I've been on. I used to watch religious, uh, TV religiously eight hours a day. Now I'm constantly on YouTube. I'm YouTube fanatic. Now, is this lie see YouTube? You better believe it. But you have to discern. Discern means truth from the fake. And from all my many years of YouTube, probably 10 plus off and on, 10 plus years, haven't heard no one make video about the destruction of the English language with these LOLs, selfies. Is a fact right here. In fact, since this text and this predictive text with smartphones, um, writing tests, SAT writing English test scores, they went from through the roof when the Bible was in schools to in the floor. That's a fact. When they took Bible out of public schools, SAT scores in the ground. Ever since I started reading the Bible, forget, forget me. Let's say I don't believe the Bible one bit. From just reading the Bible. I, I, I feel my IQ quotient is increasing. I'm able to speak clearly, understand clearly. I used to talk like, you know, slang like those, like those rap artists that you live to, listen to. You know, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. I couldn't hear what I'm saying myself. We need subtitles to understand me. Ever since reading the Bible, now, now listen to what I'm talking to. So, but believe me, I'm not going to tell you to read the Bible just yet. I'm not. Like believers, you already want to believe the Bible, but unbelievers, I'm not gonna tell you not even to touch that. Not, not until I tell you some things first. I'm gonna be talking about the next video. Like I said, I'm gonna be talking about semantics, uh, the attack of the English language, the devil changing words meanings. Tell you what words should mean and what they do mean. Hate speech, which is nothing but the truth. Hate speech is, is just a uh, demonizing the truth. The uh, the people that rule the world. I'm not going to be talking about Satan. That's another thing. I think you need to know about Satan, unlike God. He needs people to do his bidding. So rest assured, I'm calling out names. Names that you had, primarily, there are people that talk about it, these people. Now, but the devil, I, I, I don't want to, I'm tired of listening to these ministries that keep saying the devil, 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 devil did this, devil did this. Satan did this, Satan did that, Satan did that. Well, yeah, he did it, but he had to use people. Okay? Okay? I'm not a ghost talk to you. I'm a living, breathing person. God uses My name is Emmanuel Fernandez. The, one, the difference between God and devil, God doesn't need people to evangelize. God doesn't need people to make him know he exists. He exists everywhere. Satan does. That's the difference. Satan needs people. You need God. That's the difference. Satan needs you. You need God. I'm going to be naming names. Uh, what, what, what Satan uses throughout this. But... Uh, Basically, my ministry, like I said, uh, when when you bear through watching through it, you're gonna say to yourself, "This guy has things that I never heard about. This guy's talking about things I never heard about." Uh, but don't don't think uh, right off the bat. Don't think you're gonna puff my ego because I'm not gonna let you. Because human knowledge belongs to the world. I don't know if you anybody saw that movie Antitrust. Because I'm not, you know, I'm in IT. I like movies like that's to do IT Antitrust. He says human knowledge belongs to the world. Okay. This is a guy Nikola Tesla, the father of free energy. Again, this is not a made-up guy. Look it up. Where people in power stripped of everything he learned and gave it to the people that work for the devil. And I, like I said, I'll name names. I'm not naming names now. I'm not naming names. Uh, he felt that what he knew about free energy, electromagnetism, uh, but what we're using now, these gas power cars, electromagnetism. What, it's funny. What's so far behind America, so by, I call America bedrock. With technology, technological, 50 to 100 years back. Okay? The people in power 50 to 100 years ahead. And I'll improve it scientifically. I'll make a video about that, how technology, we're in the Stone Age. Okay? That right there, that's proof that I'm not just ministering to my believers. Okay? I'm ministering to unbelievers. I'm ministering to anybody that wants to hear. The Bible says, he who wants the truth, let him hear. 
okay? Uh, because uh, human knowledge belongs to the world, basically. What I know, what I'm telling you here, is doesn't belong to me. It belongs to God, really. God wants me to tell you all of the stuff I know. So these videos are going to be a pouring out of all my knowledge. So uh, next video, like I said, is going to be about semantics, which I don't hear a lot about. I'm making videos I don't hear a lot about. If I hear a lot about it, if you did hear about it, I want to urge you, uh, please comment about it. Yeah, I did hear about this, but don't just say I heard about it. Let me talk about comments. If you're going to comment, make it constructive. I don't care if it is or not anymore because a Christian Christ said the world's going to hate you, hate, hating me before he hates you. So I'm going to expect bad comments. Matter of fact, that's, I'm going to be fueled by your e evil comments. Christians should be fueled by evil comments, not by good ones. If you're fueled by good comments, I don't think you're saved. Okay? You should be fueled by evil comments and people sliding you, making fun of you. That should be your fuel. That should be you doing something right because... And if there's no comments, uh, yeah, you're probably doing something wrong. No comments, you're doing something wrong. If there's good comments, you're definitely doing something wrong. If Don't get me wrong, I expect some good comments, but I don't expect the majority of them to be good comments. I expect the majority to be evil. I expect the majority to, to make me want to quit, which I'm not. I'm not going to quit. But I expect the majority to do evil. That means you're doing something good. Okay, That means you're getting under skin, you're pushing buttons. It's ministry, your mind's about pushing buttons. I'm going to push your buttons. Okay? Using the Bible, not using the Bible. Oh, the Bible's fake. It's an allegory. I'll tell you why you read the Bible. People perceive the Bible as, by the way, I'll make a video just about that. It's an allegory. It's a fairy tale book. Okay, I'll prove non Bible. You're without excuse. Romans 120. You're without excuse. Excuse of what? That God exists, that Jesus Christ exists. With, I'm not going to use the Bible. Trust me. I'm not going to use the Bible in some videos. Primarily for my believers, which I will cite scripture. And you're going to know the videos where I don't use. Uh, the Bible. I think I'll be uh, labeling it, uh, title my videos like uh, BL for believer and non believer. Not uh, that doesn't mean non believer can't watch the believers and the believers can't watch non believers. It's really for both you guys. But I feel like I need to separate it because if I just did something, just did a video for all believers. Do I get bring some to Christ, the non believers? Yeah, but. I'm just talking from experience, cause like I said, I've been. I went to school. I was eight years Catholic. I went to school eight years. The Bible, Bibles, eight years is all I've been taught. To the point I threw it away because it's just a allegory, fairy tale book in the trash, and I hated God and I wanted nothing to do with it. That's from eight years of Catholic school, Don Bosco and St. Peter's. I'm from originally from Boston, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove. I'm gonna make several videos of Bible. Bible, just the Bible itself, but I'm not going to quote it. I'm going to talk about the Bible in general. That's another thing I don't see that much. When I say I don't see that much, well, I'm not going to say I know everything because I don't. God does not impart one man with any knowledge. Well, he did. It's his son, Jesus Christ. But besides him, not one man knows everything. If he did, then he didn't want, he wouldn't want us to fellowship. I'm fellowship with you right here. Fellowship is sharing knowledge. Knowledge about God and Christ. That's what fellowship is. He gives everybody certain gifts, certain things they know that other people don't know, so you want to talk to them. If I know everything, I, I don't want to have an urge for fellowship, but I don't know everything. I'm going to be taught on this ministry, rest assured, I'm going to be taught on this ministry probably more than I teach. I'm going to expect comments of people say, yeah, but you didn't know this. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm going to read all the comments. Rest assured, I'm going to read all your comments. I'm going to read it over thoroughly. Bad or evil, like I said, if you're going to do evil, you're going to slight me, please do it. This is not reverse psychology. This is not a trick joke. This is not a trick. I want to expect more evil comments. If, if it's it's mostly all good and I don't hear one evil comment, now I'm going to pause and reflect. If, if, if I'm truly shaved, this is what God really does. Because Christians should be fueled by negativity. His negativity should be the reason why he does this. Because the world hates the truth. This, I'm not saying just hate Christ, which he is a truth. The world hates truth, period. Okay? Good example. I'll give you a good example, not even mentioning God in the Bible. I went to the, the beach with my cousins, Cocoa Beach. I'm from I'm living in Florida, by the way. Talked about fluoride. Fluoride in the water. Yeah, do you guys know you have fluoride? This is years before I'm saved, year before I know Christ. This is why I'm a sinner. 
yeah, you know, you have fluoride in the water. They put your fluoride in the water and it dumps you down and wrecks your teeth. I don't use toothpaste, by the way. I tell you what to do use. When I say I'm going to teach, teach you useful stuff that you can apply right now, trust me, I am. I'm not going to just tell you jargon, oh, this doesn't apply to me, I can't apply to it. Trust me, I'm going to apply it to you right now. I'm not going not gonna to tell you what I use that works, that's good for fresh breath, because I want you to keep watching. But anyways, I was at the beach talking about, you know, fluoride water. You know that you have poison in the water. And they looked at me like I have three hits. I'm not even talking about Christ. I'm not talking about the Bible. They looked at me like I was insane. Again, this is all verified. It's proof we have fluoride in the water. That's non-debatable. That's like saying I have a nose on my head, face. And I have to prove prove you that we have fluoride in the water. It's like you proving I have a nose. I'm a human being, not a demon. Demon as in outwardly. I, you can tell I'm a man. I mean, to tell you the truth, I can't even prove you that, man, because this technology where you see people, they're interviewing on YouTube, where they're just CG. They're, they're not even there. They're, they're CG, computer generated, but they look like real people. So when I say you can't trust your eyes, trust me, it's a scientific fact you can't trust your eyes, by the way. I'm going to talk, talk about the five senses in detail. Now, you can't trust your eyes one bit. That's, a, that's not a biblical fact. Not a science effect. That's a biblical scientific fact. Biblical and science are two sides of the same coin. That's that's gonna be my focal point. I think that's what I'm gonna call this ministry biblical science. Science is also history. History is science. And science means to know, not believe. No one even believes in two different things. Uh, I believe in God, but I know uh, I'm I'm a man. I'm a human being. I don't have to tell someone. No one has to tell me. Hey, do you know you believe you're a man? I don't have to pull my pants down to believe I'm. To know I'm a man, you you're gonna you're gonna know there's something in life you better know. One of them is God. One of them that is after afterlife. I can't prove scientifically there's hell and heaven, but I can scientifically. Did, did he just say that? Yes, I did. I can scientifically prove there is a afterlife. Okay, to call, talking with quantum physics, you can deny the Bible. Go ahead, but deny science, quantum physics. Go ahead, deny two plus two is five. Okay, science is is just that. Science is nothing but what two plus two is four. You can uh, the government can pass a law saying two plus two is five. Kill people that 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 don't believe two plus two is five. You can put out propaganda to prove two plus two is five. You can do all that. Two plus two is four. No one's gonna tell me I don't believe two plus two is four. I know two plus two is four. So if you can grasp that. You're going to grasp this ministry. All I'm saying is 2 plus 2 is 4, not 5. Not 5, one, 5. There's people that live under that paradigm. Paradigm is your your operating system because, believe it or not, your body is a biological computer. I'm going to prove that scientifically without the Bible. Up and down the spectrum, how it acts like a computer. Your paradigm is the way you think, your value system. Not what's right or wrong, just the way you perceive things. The paradigm is just that. So... My paradigm went from 2 plus 2 is 5 to 2 plus 2 is 4. What does that mean? That means I see things the way they they appear to be. Those are the fakes. And as they are. Basically, this is what this ministry is about. Seeing things as they are, not how they appear to be. The devil makes it as it appear to be. He's the great deceptor. So hang tight. I guess uh, my next video is going to be about semantics. And semantics, political correctness, and hate speech. Because you can't. I can't talk about you using the English language and not talk about how it's being destroyed and being manipulated because what you need to know about any language is there's languages within languages. What do I mean by that? There's a legalese language. I'm going to make a documentary just about that. Not a documentary, a video about that. I have documents out there, by the way. Uh, my names and self enslavement. They talk all about this. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the the attack on the English language next. How it's being dumbed down with these these words, selfies that don't even exist. These selfies, talking about hermeneutics. That's the way we read the Bible. How that's been changed. That's why we read the Bible like an allegory, fairy tale book because our hermeneutics is all messed up. Hermeneutics is the difference between allegorical. Do you interpret the Bible allegorically more than literal meaning? talk about hate speech which is this uh, evil way of saying the truth 
because if you're a Bible-believing Christian, you're a truth terrorist. Rest assured, okay? You're talking hate speech, and we're gonna, we don't want to hear that. And talk about political correctness, politically correctness, which is the opposite of hate speech. Words that dumb you down, that that sued you down. You have to know we we are ears. We are we we go by what we hear. Incendiary. I can't even pronounce it. That, that goes along my indoctrination. I can't even pronounce words right there. I'm proving what I'm talking about right now. Incendiary. Incendiary. Well, let's say f uh, inflaming. That's what I want to use. But I want to use that other word. Uh, we go, the way we operate is by inflammatory uh, words. And the devil knows that. So he has to make, douse some water on these words so we don't. <laughs> Throw a fit and get mad because Malcolm X says you get mad first and you want to do something. You know, how can you get mad if you hearing words like collateral damage? You're hitting words like job creators. You know words that don't sound that bad. Advanced interrogation, uh, rendition. You know words that 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 take the the real meaning out of it, that that doesn't make you want to rise up. That's done on purpose, okay? The devil's not stupid. He's a lot of things. He's not stupid, okay? He attacks the, the way you speak, the way you communicate, because he knows that's the power in everything. The Bibles, we look at the Bibles, there's nothing much but words. But it's the way those words are connected that gives it the power. But really, it's just words. The Bible's nothing but words. It's a book. It's like any mag anything you read. It, the power is, is it's, it's the connection of those words' meaning, the meaning behind the words. Okay, so I'm gonna, my next video is going to be entirely about hermeneutics, politically correctness, the dumbing down of the English language, and hate speech. So, rest assured, I, I can't guarantee salvation that you'll be saved. I can't guarantee I'll lead you to Christ. Anyone that does that is a liar, because I'm not leading you. I'm just a messenger. God is the one that's going to do that. No one comes to, he just said, no one comes to me unless the Father draws him. Okay, so if you think oh, I'm gonna watch this, I'm gonna get saved. Turn it off. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna be the Christ. Turn it off. But it, I'm gonna watch this, and I'm gonna scientifically believe God exists and Jesus Christ exists. Oh yes, you will. That's a guarantee. Now, if that's you say I watched through it and he didn't give me scientific historical facts. Jesus Christ exists. Scientific facts. God exists. Oh, well, then you lie yourself. Like I said, devils. Cognitive dissidence. I'm going to be talking about that a lot. Cognitive dissidence is you lying to yourself. Okay, one of the main weapons of your mind. I'm going to make a video about that. Uh, we don't know our ego. Ego is our pride. It has self-defense mechanisms which don't want to make you, shield to you what I'm telling you right now. You don't know your brain has defense mechanisms against people that tell the truth. Yet. No one tell you that, did, they? did anyone tell you that? I'm tell you. I'll make a video about the defense mechanism your brain has. So I want to keep rambling because this is, this is an intro. Okay, I'm not gonna be because I'm gonna be. I want to keep on topic. Every video I talk about, I want to stay on topic. This what this is. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about four things, and they all have to do with one thing. The one thing is biblical science. Biblical science. Science is to know, not to believe. It's going to be surrounded on that, biblical science. And through those biblical science, we'll be talking about four things. First is the Bible. Proving the Bible, it's the inheritance of God, inherent word of God from quoting it and not even quoting it. So the videos I'll be talking about the Bible, not even saying a word, of, no, not one verse of scripture, I'll be talking about the Bible. So first is the Bible. Second is true history, which you can verify. Second, then the third is going to be two science, which you can verify, and the fourth is going to be your your body, and your anatomy. And ain't that science? Well, that is science, but I feel like that needs to be severed because your very body is proof that you've been created by a supernatural being. I'm be talking probably ten videos about your body alone that will prove that God exists just about your body. Like I said, when I talk about true science and true history and about your body, I do not want you. Oh yeah, he's telling the truth. No. I urge you to look it up. This is verifiable. So, uh, Lord bless. Peace. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthened me. When I come in peace, but when I speak, they're meant for war. 
that scripture right there. I'm going to probably end my videos with those things because those are the two verses. Everybody has verse scripture that drives them. This I'm talking to believers in Christ and one of people who believe in Christ. Those are the two that drives me. So uh, peace and Lord bless.